agony and disbelief in the northwest suburbs where four students at Buffalo Grove High School were killed in a horrific crash. The crash happened last night on Schoenbeck Road and West Dundee in Wheeling. NBC 5's V went on the story for us. She joins us live now with the very latest. V, this is so heartbreaking. Four students. Allison, it's been a very devastating day for this community. The mother of one of the victims says her son was set to graduate next week. We know that he was out with friends last night. He told his mom that he was heading home around 10 and when he didn't show up, she began to worry. She tells me she even went looking for him, but by that time it was already too late. It's a pain Brenda Lorenzo says no mother should have to go through after losing her 17 year old son. <laughs> Please come back home. Give me my last hug, my last kiss. I love you. I will always love you. Her son, Ricky Barcenas, a student and soccer player at Buffalo Grove High School, was killed in a crash along with three other friends. I said, Papi, I love you. I'll see you later. It's like, yeah, ma, I love you too. <laughs> that would, that would, that's the last time I saw him that morning. Police say three vehicles were involved in the crash near Dundee and Schoenenbeck Roads and believe speeding was a factor. We were just going home and next thing you know, um, I was behind them and the red, there was a red light. Richard thought he could beat it and uh, he, he, he would try to break, but I guess the car wasn't breaking. Angelina Gomez says her brother, 16-year-old Jesus Rodriguez, was in the car with Barcenas. She was driving right behind them and witnessed the crash. I tried checking up on my brother. He was still breathing, so I tried opening the door. I couldn't. The teens are being remembered as good kids with big dreams. A memorial now marks the spot where their lives were cut short. He was a good student. He was a good. He was a good gentleman to his mom. He was a good boy with me. He was respectful to every single person. Lorenzo says her son was caring and always helpful around the house with his younger siblings. She just wishes, as a mother, she could have been there to save him. And just love your kids and try to spend as much time as you can with them. Now, families of the victims have set up a GoFundMe page to help with funeral expenses. Police say a fifth victim, a 17-year-old boy who was in the SUV with that group, is still being treated in the ICU. Police say as far as the other two drivers who were injured in this crash, one has been treated and released from the hospital. The other is still in the hospital tonight. The cause of this crash is still under investigation. Reporting live in Wheeling, V1 NBC5 News. Such a tragedy. Thank you, V.